The 52nd Annual Legislative Conference for the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation kicked off in the United States Capitol. The conference focusing on policy, social justice, economic empowerment, education, and other important topics for black Americans. The CBCF says against the backdrop of the Supreme Court's recent decision to strike down affirmative action programs and diversity, equity, and inclusion stalling across corporate America, this year's conference will focus on securing democracy, protecting freedoms, and uplifting our culture. The Virgin Islands representative, Stacey Plaskett, is the co-chair of this year's conference, and she says she's invited the Virgin Islands government to be part of it. She shares what she hopes people can learn from the gathering. I think that in one sense, we're giving as well. Uh, the governor and his team have an exhibit booth from tourism, discussing our tax benefit, even having agencies like Public Works, uh, the Department of Education, as well as the Office of Disaster Recovery here to try and find black contractors, black builders, black financiers for some of the projects that they'd like to move forward. Uh, and also even from the youngest, I was speaking with a group of students from Edora Ken who were here to sit in on some of the discussions. Uh, you know, this is the ultimate civics class for them to be able to learn and bring it back to the other students. So I, I'm happy that as the co-chair, I'm bringing along all Virgin Islanders with me. And I think also there are lessons that people are gonna learn um, going to some of these panels that they'll be able to implement back home. Over 10,000 people come to the conference to really focus on issues of importance to black Americans and to the larger community uh, at large. And so I think what's important is what's important to the people who come here to, to have these discussions, right? And it ranges, which I think is so amazing. Uh, I just saw an ad, like a poster board for uh, a discussion about housing. Uh, I've, there are discussions about um, black innovation, discussions about environmental justice, discussions about voting rights, discussions about mass incarceration. So the range of issues, I think, is just so, uh, so example, an example of what's important to black America, but also the depth at which the individuals who are there to speak on these panels. Uh, you know, we're talking about housing, seeing that the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development will be there, uh, leading dis scientists for environmental justice. So I think that this is also a way for us to center ourselves and then to go back out into the communities that we represent, back out into the communities where we le live to try and galvanize uh, ourselves and our communities to do the work to uplift not just black Americans, and I think the message needs to be to people that uplifting us lifts up all Americans, that when one group of us do better, everyone does better.